Welcome back. Well, one of the coolest naturally occurring phenomena in nature is something called bioluminescence. It's those electric blue waves we've seen at night along our coast. They're caused by algae called phytoplankton. Now, a buildup of those phytoplankton is called a red tide, and there's one currently happening in Malibu. Correspondent Angela Sun has more on these essential microorganisms and how one San Diego company is helping people grow their own at home. Hey guys, I'm Angela Sun here in Carlsbad in North County, San Diego, and I am super excited to be at this magical place, and I'm about to meet with the founder of this very special company. As an ocean lover, I'm super excited. I know, I'm trying to hold it in. But it's called Pyro Farms, and we're about to meet with, ooh, Dean Sauer. Hi, Dean. Hi, Angela. Uh, tell me about what is Pyro Farms. Well, we grow a bioluminescent algae here at Pyro Farms called Pyrodinos. Yeah. And I know you have a background in immunology and biotech, but how did you get into this? Well, I had a DNA art company where we were actually making uh, art from people's DNA. And we were challenged while at that company to come up with some living art. Okay. And so we worked with a lot of different uh, cell lines and bacteria, fungus, uh -huh. and we kind of came up with these dinoflagellates were awesome to work with and easy to take care of. So we thought they would make a great pet, plant pet. I know that bioluminescence happens naturally uh, in the outside world, in our environment, in the oceans, and they're associated with red tides, which as a surfer, I've always been told to stay out of the water when there's a red tide. Can you kind of explain a little bit about how this goes together? Yes, yeah, and you should stay out of the water when, there, okay. when there's a red tide. Now, red tides are very complex. There's a lot of different organisms organisms in a mm -hmm. red tide. Uh, the phytoplankton that we grow, the pyrodinos, mm -hmm. are non-toxic. But there are other things that can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. And some algae do produce toxins, so you never know. Got it. Yeah. Good to note. And what you see here might not look like much at the moment, but when we turn the lights down low, we are about to see the glow. Let's see the magic happen. Woo! -hoo! Oh my gosh, it feels like I'm holding a magic potion. This is so crazy. It's like cool. a... Here, come here, I gotta oh. show you this. I gotta show you something really neat. All right. Now watch this open pool of pyrodinos being poured in from the flask. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Am I allowed to touch that? Is yes, that okay? go oh. ahead. Okay. And how many pyrodinos are in here? There's probably close to oh a, a little over a million. Wow! <laughs> in this in this little pool. Gosh, this I is did the calculations. So cool! It's even more magical to see it in person. So they do need light. So you have to give them light every day, like a house plant. Okay. And as long as they get light, they're really happy and they will continue to grow. These dinoflagellates, microalgae from the oceans, actually produce more than 50% of the air we breathe. They take CO2 from the environment and through photosynthesis produce oxygen, helping to remove the greenhouse gas as the biggest carbon sink in the world. So as to not take from the natural environment, Dean and his team were able to reproduce billions of pyrodinos from one single dinoflagellate from the San Diego coastline from years ago. This is so neat. I mean, I've seen it in all the Instagram videos that people post, you know, off the coastline, but I just to be able to feel it in between your fingers, it is just such a unique experience. How do we grow our own glow? Well, right here I have our bioluminescent bio orb. Ooh, and it's a great so micro aquarium for growing your glow. Wow. And you can own this at your home. How do how do we get this? Well, we sell it at uh, pyrofarms.com and on Amazon. Very cool. And so we see the glow right now. It's really bright, but if I turn on the light, you're not gonna be able to see it because the light is much brighter than bioluminescence. It just disappears. Yeah, it's still it's still producing light, you just can't see it. But you know what, I think, Dean, I would like to enjoy some more glow. Okay. I'm gonna take it down low <laughs> and leave you guys here from San Diego. This is so cool.